Hi guys, how are you today? I want to show you how to quickly overclock RS-97. Of course, you must have Retor Firmware 1.2. If you don't know how to upgrade to Retor Firmware 1.2, just ask me. I'll make a video about it. Retor Firmware 1.2 comes with G Minu NX. Uh, the build that is March uh, 2019, of course. <clears throat> With GM Minu NX, you can easily overclock any emulator you have inside RS-97. Just go to setting, CPU setting. As you can see here, we have three more. The default CPU clock, if you, if you uh, haven't uh, edited it, it should be around 546. I use default CPU clock for 600. You cannot go up from there. 600 is the most maximum you can get. Maximum CPU clock is different story. You can go up way until <laughs> maybe 900. <clears throat> but but the CPU will not hold up. I already try. Every CPU have different maximum. My CPU Sadly, maximum at 684. The minimum CPU clock, <clears throat> up to you, I set it at 462. Please bear in mind, the maximum CPU clock doesn't go up or down automatically. We must set it in every emulator that we use. Let me show you how. After you, you use, uh, after you set the default CPU clock, maximum CPU clock, minimum CPU clock, then we go to the emulator. <clears throat> As you can see, I have a PS1 emulator. We press select. We press edit. There you go. The CPU clock. We can set it here. So, there you have it. We must manually set the CPU clock. For my RS-97, 800, 684 is the maximum. If, if I go up from here, uh, the game will, will not play nicely. There will be a gray line everywhere. But 684 is very, very nice for me. <clears throat> Let me show you. It's a quick game. After I upgrade to uh, 684, I can play some 3D game nicely. This is Ace Combat 2. Let me load state. As you can see, after overclocking, I can play some 3D game very very nicely. If you want to show, uh, if you want to see the <coughs> some more comparison before and after the overclocking, I will make another video. Today will be only a very quick video to show you that overclocking work great in this build. Look, the speed clock goes up to 684 only for this one the red gba will be default at 600 it should be enough for gba uh, or other but ps1 will need some more power to play nicely that's it if you have any question please ask on the comment section below thank you very much see ya